Hi. All right. So I wanted to show you how to wrap this um, this coil I was telling you about earlier. So what what you need, what all you really need, is to start off with a Q-tip. Now I've I've found a couple of different sticks um, to wind the microcoil with. If you've never wound a microcoil, um, you typically wind it around a uh, a round stick. So I uh, got out the trusty calipers and I measured a couple of uh, sticks. So the core of a standard Q-tip stick is uh, right around two and a half millimeters um, and I also found a stick uh, on something else around the house that measured out at uh, two millimeters. Most people use uh, a drill bit that's roughly equivalent to two millimeters um, uh, but I had pretty good luck with the Q-tip stick at 2.5 so here's here's what I did so all you need is wire and the Q-tip now for the wire uh, I'm using, this is um, 32SWG Nichrome, which is almost equivalent to about uh, 30 gauge and maybe, I don't think it's 28, but it's around 30, what 30 gauge Canthal would be. So um, the first thing I do is I just take my, uh, my Q-tip and a pair of uh, nippers here and I'm just going to nip one end off. So we snapped it off and now we have, you know, a bare end on the stick here. And I just take the, the little nipper end off. And then uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the, the wire, which I've already cleaned. I've degreased it and rinsed it and flamed it. And uh, the flaming does two things, of course. It, uh, it anneals the wire so that it, it will wrap more easily and it builds that oxide layer on the wire so that it doesn't uh, short when it touches. So I'm just going to leave a small um, leg off of there so we can we can wind it in here and I'm going to wind with this uh, nichrome I found that uh, about 10 wraps will give us about 2.2 ohms. So as I wrap this I'm going to be wrapping this with the coils touching, each leg of the coil touching. So that's four five, six, seven, eight, and I'm running out of lead because I cut this piece a little short. So that's that's eight wraps. So we'll see how that comes out when we're done. So there we go. And and what you want to do is you want to get it as, you know, get the wraps as close as you can and make them uh, as monolithic as you can and uh, they won't short because of the oxidation we put on there by flaming the wire and uh, we're just going to get them as neat as we can here and pull it off and when we pull it off you'll notice we have a very beautiful looking microcoil there now I, I have another one here and I'm going to wind it on the two millimeter so you can see the difference in the size. So here's my two millimeter stick and uh, I'll just go ahead and wind one here. Now these wires were the same length so we'll see how many we get with the half a millimeter difference in the wire. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, And that's about as short as we can get those and still expect to get them in the head when we're done. So we're going to press those together so it's nice and tight. And uh, what I do is I try to line them up when I'm taking it off to where after I've let go that they spring back and that they're in line there. So the legs will be in a nice straight line. I might go ahead and throw one more turn on this. That's awful short, but it'll probably work. And once again, once we slide the stick out after we've done it, and there we have our nice little 
two millimeter microcoil. So what we do then is we take the other end of our, or even the end we cut off, of the Q-tip and we just start picking the cotton off of it. So I'm just going to kind of unravel the cotton and pull it off in pieces here and till we've got most of the cotton off the end of the Q-tip. So in order to make the wick, I, I'll just take a bit of it, and this is variable, and it takes some experimentation, and then I just start rolling it between my fingers until I come out with a straight piece of cotton that looks like that. Now we want it to fit as snugly as possible when we get in there, but we don't want to pack it in. So we roll it up until it looks about like that, and we take our microcoil that we wound, and we just kind of feed it through there. And I got a couple that are sticking off. It's going to make it kind of hard to thread. So what I do is I'm just going to take my nippers and I'm going to nip the uh, end off of this here. And these are just um, cuticle nippers that you get at the hardware store. I found out they're I found they're nice and sharp, and it works really well. So we're going to stick this wick through here and. I turn it a bit to get it to stick up and come in here. This is the hardest part, is getting this wick started through the coil. There we go, that looks good. Now we're going to stick it through there. And then we just pull it through until it seats in there and it's nice and there we go. So there we have our basic coil. So um, just like any time when you're rebuilding the uh, pro tank heads, we just put it through the base here and um, we're going to fold it over. Now since this doesn't have any structure or rigidity to it, you can put like uh, a sewing pin through there to kind of keep it straight, but the biggest thing is, is you want to make sure that it goes down below the level here and it doesn't short out against the chimney when we put the chimney on. So I'm going to put it down there, and then I'll just bend the first leg over, and I look at it, and that looks good. Got the other leg sticking out, and I'm putting the rubber grommet in. And once again, we're going to put this in. We're not going to pull incredibly hard on it unless you have a pin through it. Fold it over. And we'll put the uh, center post in. Normally I do this a lot faster, but I'm trying to hold it up in front so you can see what's going on. And then we'll take our nippers and nip that wire off. Now as far as flavor wicks go, um, I've noticed that with a 2 or a 2.5 millimeter wrap, um, it doesn't necessarily, you'll get gurgling if you don't put some kind of flavor wick on top. So, um, and what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of uh, poking it with the end of this wooden stick here and kind of making sure that it's nice and centered in there. Let me see if I can get this to where you can see it. I hope you can. Um, so the coil is nice and centered inside the pocket there. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just take another small piece of the cotton that's been pulled out and I'll roll it down and I'll just lay it right on the top. So before I put this on the top, uh, on the cotton, it's really important to go ahead and pre-wet the wick. So I'm going to take some juice. I'm just going to put a couple of drops right um, on the coil and let it soak in there because sometimes cotton takes a, a bit to fully wick. So just a couple drops there, and then I'm going to, wherever I put it, I'm going to set the uh, new small piece. Seems like I misplaced it, so I'll just make another one. Uh, just grab a small piece and make this. And the, you just kind of want to roll the lumps out of it to where it's, you know, a straight little piece. 
and I'll throw another drop or two on top of it, and then I'll put the chimney on. Oh, that looks pretty good. So, nip that off. Now, this is a this one I believe was an eight turn with the 32 gauge nichrome. I'm gonna just nip it off right there, even with the end. Last little bit's always good. All right, so there we go. We have our freshly rebuilt Q-tip cotton head. And let's go ahead and put it in my Pro Tank 2 and see how it works. All right, so this is eight turns, and I believe I grabbed the two millimeter micro coil when I built this. So there we go, we'll put them in. And I always let it sit for a moment to make sure that it, it soaks in there well. I don't want to dry hit this right off the bat. So uh, I'm going to set the um, uh, set this here to uh, 7 watts and screw them in here. And we do a resistance check. We have 1.6 ohms. Um, that's eight turns on two millimeters. If it were the 2.5, eight turns would probably be about 1.8, maybe 1.9 uh, would be my guess. Um, if you get a full 10 turns on there, 10 turns on a two millimeter came out to 2.3 ohms. Um, so, and on the 2.5, that's going to be about 2.5 or 2.7 ohms. So it just depends on what wire you're using and you know what you want your end result to be. But here we go, eight turns on two millimeters equals 1.6 ohms. So it's probably soaked in enough now. Let's see how it works. As you see, it's a very huge pillowy cloud of vapor, and this is the this is the first hit off of a brand new coil. So you know, usually that's a little light. So we'll. Uh, uh, I, like I said, I was hitting it 7 watts. I ran these up to 10 or 11 watts, and it's just huge, tremendous. So let's hit it one more time at 7 watts, and then maybe we'll kick it up a notch. So as you see, the, the cloud is big and pillowy. It's got great flavor. And there we go. Now it's getting big. So let's let's knock it up a little bit here. So we'll unlock the uh, XBD. One time. All right. So we're unlocked. Let's go. Let's go up to ten watts and see how it runs at ten. You see it's not it's not dry at all. The the vape is getting warmer. Um, I've always had a problem with anything in the Pro Tank going much above five or six watts. Well, usually five and a half, six and a half watts. It would start to get burnt, start to get dry hits out of it, regardless of how I coiled it with silica. Um, and but this works beautifully at 10 watts, and uh, my battery's a little low. But let's see what we got. Let's see if we can get another one out of it. And there we go. As you see, it's completely blocking my vision. You know, just between me and the laptop. So it's uh, nice and thick.
and those are inhales too. Those aren't mouth hits. So. But that's uh, that's my experience with the cotton and the pro tank. So maybe you want to give it a try.